Hello everybody, today I am going to show you some of the electronic apparatuses that are required for the Ohm's law to demonstrate Ohm's law. So here I have few resistances, 5 ohm resistance and 10 ohm resistance. This is a voltmeter, this is a key, that is a rheostat, this is a battery eliminator or generally it can be referred as a battery and this is a meter and these are some connecting wires. Now few basic things about these devices are this a meter it measures the electric current this measures the potential difference across the resistances these two resistances can be connected in series and parallel in any of the ways this is used to measure potent potential difference this is used to measure electric current this we are supposed to connect it to our ac mains so the alternating power will be converted into dc power and we can check the ohms law with the help of the dc setup right so alternating we can also apply ohms law to ac circuit as well but here we are supposed to check the voltage and current relationship with the dc power supply now it is compulsory to connect the a meter in series with the resistances a meter is always connected in series voltmeter is always connected in parallel always remember voltmeter internal resistance is very high the internal resistance of the a meter is very low the current actually passes through the a meter and that current is recorded over here so a meter can record the current if the current passes through it and current will only pass through it if the internal resistance of the a meter is very low now we always connect the voltmeter in parallel with the resistance so i am going to connect one wire like this another wire like this third wire like this and the fourth wire would come like this so basically since the voltmeter has very high resistance so most of the current will pass through like this and the current multiplied by the resistance will be displayed over here because v is equal to i into r now had it been if the voltmeter is made up of very less resistance then most of the current would pass through voltmeter instead of passing through the resistance so this v will make the internal resistance of this voltmeter very high so the current multiplied by resistance will be displayed over here now let's talk about this rheostat this rheostat has got three knobs we are going to use these two knobs so basically i will connect this end of the resistor over here and this end of the the rheostat will be connected somewhere else so basically the current would come in it would pass through this these are the turnings this, there is a wire as you can see these are very thin wires which are wound around a, around this cylindrical shape and then what is going to happen is the current is going to come it is going to go round and round and finally it will come out of here and leave so if i do it like this then the current has to pass through more number of turns and then exit that means i am increasing the resistance resistance is directly proportional to the length of the conductor but if i do like this then the current has to flow out through very small number of turns so lesser the resistance so the job of this resistance the job of this rheostat is to vary the resistance in the circuit it's a variable resistance whereas these two are the fixed resistors this is our battery eliminator guys and i'm going to convert this to ac power supply and then here this is to 1.5 volt 2 volt 4 6 8 10 12 maximum i can convert this ac to 220 volts into 12 volts correct and one thing important you always have to connect positive terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the emitter in this way this is just an introductory part guys i will do this experiment of resistance in series and parallel we can then actually record the readings of v and i and plot the graph and you will see that we will get a straight line graph between v and i